May I ask you a question? Pardon me? May I record you guys? Because I actually do this. This is for the helping the, the homeless, and I have a, a channel. Is this my own thing on YouTube? Is, is anybody? I mean, I was wondering. I heard her say something. All of us are. Pardon me? Homeless? Yes. May I video you guys, and you tell me what it's like here in Erie, and this is where I put everything. She's asking permission to record. Yes. Although it's the first time right now. What do you want to record? You guys, tell me what it's you like to be homeless raid. here in here. <laughs> Come on, it's rough. I, this been, is where I put it. I'm not any TV I don't channel. care where you want to put it. Anyway, okay. I would so, take your card. Do you have another one? Yeah. Thank you. So I just, I like to ask permission. It's called being polite. Yeah, that's good, that's good. I that's mean, good, everything that, I got yeah. you is, I'll, I, can I leave it on or cut it off? That's what I'm, I, no, I no, do. what you gotta do. I'm really fucking, I know, I've learned my stuff. I'm old, I'm 53 and I'm homeless. I live at the Avalon. Due uh -huh. to all this shit being shut down, uh -huh. and my husband works, he gets on the bus at 6:30, he gets out at 4:30, uh -huh. and you know what we have to come to? To lay right here on a slab of concrete till 8 o'clock. He busts his ass. He has scoliosis too. Is that fair? To hell, everything's shutting down for. I get Social Security because I have seizures. I have seizures and I have bipolar. My husband works. Uh -huh. So we're stuck here. Everything's open up till we get an apartment. <laughs> okay, but the shelters, I mean, is there still shelter at night now? We, we stay at the Avalon, but we can't check in until 8 o'clock. I have to be out by 10. Oh, okay. 10 hours well, there, in the there was a shelter, overflow shelter, but they... They moved up to the Avalon. Yeah, they, they canceled early, and the people that are homeless are at the Avalon now, so... Oh. Thank you. Well, we're so, past 10 hours no, in the street. No, you're fine, thank you. I have to get out by 10. Uh-huh and check in by eight. My husband had to come over here and sit on his concrete after working eight and a half hour shift in a plastic <laughs> shop. Oh, wow. Is that fair? No. Yeah, and everything's shut down. We can't sit at McDonald's. We can't sit nowhere. They just have the fifth and state McDonald's. Yeah, I noticed that. I, I remember yeah, when they put it in. Thing, that's kind of yeah, this is ridiculous. You can spin it however you want to. I don't care, but this is, this is uncalled for. And then they approached us the other day. Get out. Get out of the park. Move away. The cops? Give me a fucking place to go, and wow. I will move. He heard me. Sure. I'm heard me. Yeah, last the week, the sheriff come in. Really? Listen. Last, last week, the sheriff come in and told us to stand six feet apart. Missy, or they're going to send us home. Missy said, give us a Give us a home to go to. I will gladly go home. Then we can go home. I'm and too old for this. And they just walked away. That's right. Because they had nothing to say about it. Because she put them in So they put it, they, they walked back away. We don't, we don't, we. So with everything closed, you we have no to go. We don't cause no trouble. We sit here. I'm 59, here. I'm in the wheelchair. Yeah, I'm yeah, so yeah, in the wheelchair. This is That's my wheelchair over there. Right. Uh-huh. Wow. But we don't call, we pick up our trash, then we drink. What else you want us to do? Exactly. We pick up our garbage, we don't cause no drama. Leave us alone or open shit back up. Please do something. Just do something. Oh, you're measuring, she's measuring six feet. This is the first time in my life I'm out of trouble with the police and they know who I am. They're going to open up their places and they're going to tell us we can't be there anyway. You can't be there. Yeah, but they're going to. You all right, puppy? Yeah, I'm good. So this is so you have nowhere to go yet. They're yelling at you for not going anywhere. Exactly. Right. We sit here all day long. Oh, that's a lie. I'm sorry. Between 11:30 and 12, we go to the soup kitchen in a in a food line, uh -huh. and then from four to five we go to Mayas, a bag lunch, get to go. All right, what we eat at nighttime? Wait Candies. till wait till tomorrow when it's cold and rainy. Then come in very me. because I'll be sitting here huddled up in a corner with a blanket. Where am I gonna go? Yeah, I've been homeless before, so I know how. Ten o'clock, we gotta be out of the hotel. This is our, uh, this is how I met him, being through overflow and all that. I have no I reason to lie, Miss Ma'am. Come tomorrow. see me tomorrow. I'll be right here in the corner with a blanket. I live right over there at the Boston store, so. I'll come down and visit you guys. If you guys don't mind me recording, and I'll talk. I'd like to get to know what it is here. Cause I was living in Daytona Beach, Florida, and I got to know the people there. It's nice and warm. Yeah, You're but there's. On Lake Erie, baby. But, yeah, but the but the amount down there is a lot more. It's be, you know because it's there's no winter down there. <laughs> but it's still it's everywhere. You can't homeless homelessness is everywhere. It's everywhere. It's, it's, it's everywhere. An epidemic. Here, here, yes, it is. <laughs> yes. They take us as a joke. Yeah, I was wondering how Look it is here. Really?
Walks. Yes, to walk all day, Ralph Walt, sitting in the chair. To 8 o'clock tonight. It's hard. Is there anybody who actually don't have a place to stay and have to sleep out here? Yeah. Uh, where's he at? Anybody want something for us to order away? Up before the bears. Up before the bears.